Welcome fans to WrestleMania 1, WTF's WrestleMania 1. We know you tuned in to see some expensive boxing pay-per-view, but yeah, fuck that. I mean, wrestling's so much better, especially our wrestling. I'm here, uh, Jim Biggins here with Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles, say hello. Uh, 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 what was that? Sorry, I was sleeping. Oh, yeah, see, he's, he's really raring to go and excited for this ultimate event, WrestleMania 1 for WTF. we got a lot of title matches and everything, folks, coming for you tonight. But first up, we got a Battle Royal. The Battle Royal winners will take each other on in a six-man Battle Royal. Who you got, Mr. Wiggles? Uh, Butterball, is he in it? No, Butterball wait, no, is Butterball, in it, yes. No, is Butterball is in it, I gotta go with Butterball. Yes, Butterball is definitely in there. I gotta go with Butterball and everything he's in. It's Marv, Man Mountain McGurk, Average White Man. Here we go, see? Maple Ape, Average White Man, Marv, Man Mountain McGurk, Butterball, and King Slender. And Marv is looks Marv. like he's, Marv's coming out. Marv is the winner of our first Battle Royal. So that's why he's being introduced first. All right. Marv does not actually have a problem uh, being introduced first. I don't think Marv cares. I don't really think Marv cares much about anything as long as he's dragging somebody's face across the concrete. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, as long as violence is a part of his life, Marv will be at least somewhat content. And, you know, violence is going to be a part of his life as long as he's here in WTF, so... Oh, we have this part of the trade. Yeah, well... Some fat dude in the crowd you didn't like. Yeah, I don't know. A dude in the black shirt better watch his ass. Cause... I don't like him either. He's a big, fat, disgusting ball of flop. Yeah. You guys are talking shit. Uh, these, these sands, man, sometimes I don't understand them. Let's do in the orange shirt over here. What the fuck's up with that guy? I don't know. See, you know, I get it, kind of get it when you, like, talk shit to Triple H or you talk shit to fucking... Randy Orton, because they're fucking pussies. Who cares? But, well, I mean, Marv, Marv will drag you over that rail and break you in half right here in the aisle, and I'm sorry, folks. We can't stop him. I'm not going to stop him. That's what I paid my tickets for. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles came here to see a fan get slaughtered. Well, i got to say, I, I wouldn't exactly uh, fast-forward past it on the DVDs either. So A fan, the ref, the ring announcer. Ooh, well, I might have to rethink my pick. Yeah, here comes Man Mountain McGurk, folks. Uh, Man, who should the, be president. Yeah, our resident storyteller. Everyone's just fallen in love with Man Mountain McGurk stories, which I told you you would once you got to hear him. Man's a legend. He's a legend. He doesn't even have to be a wrestler. He yeah, can just he, come out and tell stories. I, yeah, he could. I mean, Man Mountain McGurk could very easily transfer from a wrestler to a broadcaster or to a manager or something like that and not miss a beat. I love the cape. Oh, he's drawing to some dude in the crowd. Yeah, well, probably had cotton candy or something and McGurk wants it. God, God, he smells good. I actually saw him rip a corn dog out of a kid's hand one time and just stick it in his mouth and walk to the ring with it. <laughs> and then he went, This tastes like a dog's dick! And threw it away. <laughs> 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 I remember that! Yeah. <laughs> Very special individual. <laughs> He's got my vote. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, pretty much anything they'd put him up for election for, I'd vote for him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Didn't matter what it was. Uh, yeah. And then <laughs> you can now, just feel the energy the run right out of Mr. Just, Wiggles. Yeah, it just <laughs> drains out of the room. <laughs> uh, 1976 disco throwback. This fucking music always reminds me of Superman 2. <laughs> well, at least that's a pleasant memory. Yeah, except for you know, this guy's like shitting on the memories of Superman 2 by using it. Yeah, but wasn't you could envision him as one of the guys that Superman busted his ass at the end of the, the movie, you know? That's true. You could envision him as that guy. The guy he slid into the, the jukebox. That'd be great. Yeah. He doesn't really look like a, a bully, but you never know. He may have changed his ways a little bit since then. Kind of an asshole. Ah, here he comes. Hey. <laughs> Look at his little arms. Butterball coming out for his first of two matches tonight, folks. Uh, Butterball will be in this match, and he will also be in a last man standing match with Stilts Jackson uh, a little bit later on. Ah, that's going to be great. Yeah, I don't know if that's just really such a smart thing for Stilts to agree to be a part of. I mean, a ladder match or a slam dunk contest or something. I think he's got he's a shoe in but, you know, a last man standing, that, I think that kind of plays into Butterball's strengths a little bit. Yeah, still Jackson does have that, that magician shit going on for him, so maybe he's got something up his, well, he has more sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> socks, like, socks. I don't know. He's got something in his magic fucking anti-gravity shoes. Oh, I forget about this freaky goddamn thing. Yeah, I don't know. 
Here he comes. This guy smiles and he looks all happy, but I gotta tell you, I think something sinister is lying behind that smile. I'm telling you, he's from some other dimension. He's like a troll, and he's come to, like, eat people and take souls. Or... You can hear the goblins in his music. Yeah, I... You ever see that movie Troll where he tur was trying to turn the world into whatever he came from? That's what Mayplay's going to do. Watch. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's going to turn the whole world into looking like Canada. Maybe he wants to turn us all into... Oh, dear God, no. A hockey-playing, beer-drinking, moose-loving Canadian. There'll be fucking moose know. everywhere. And little mushroom people. Yes, from Nova Scotia. King Slender is rounding out the participants for our battle royal. You know, out of all the guys that's in here, this dude is probably the... You know, the, the most out of place. And it's weird, because in a but normal he, wrestling federation, he would be, like, just like anyone else. But here... He does have the most wrestling talent, though. Yeah. And he sticks out like a sore thumb, because he's a wrestler. And, you know, what, what is Maple Leaf? Or is it even, for that matter, what's Man Mountain McGurk? I mean, I don't know if you call them wrestlers. No. Well, you I, know. I suppose you could. But entertainers? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Mars a murderer. That's what he is. Vigilante is the term. And Maple Ape, I don't know what the fuck he is. A troll, I guess. I I, I, I have no clue. <laughs> Nobody likes that fat fan of the black shirt. That's all I can say. Well, he's sitting out there looking like Bill Roper. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> King uh... Slender, folks. Doing the Ric Flair strut. Of course, he would claim he's the Flair He's doing stole. the King Sl Slender yeah. strut and he Flair would claim stolen. the Flair stolen from him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as has become tradition with our Man Mountain McGurk matches, something we try to do each and every time we have Man, Ma Man Mountain McGurk out here for you folks, uh, it's story time with Man Mountain McGurk, so everybody take a listen. Let me tell you a story. I was driving my moped cross country and I had to stop for lunch. I stopped at an Arby's. The place was out of roast beef. What the fuck kind of Arby's runs out of roast beef? I was pissed! I had to eat 12 of those hot ham and cheese things. They gave me the cannonball shits! I had to stop and take a shit in the ditch next to a sign that said 500 miles to Topeka. That's why I hate Kansas! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he hates to ban Kansas too. I don't know, I'll have to ask him. That might be why, you know, we could get him in there as Skinny Wolf maybe. <laughs> It, <laughs> Can we not talk about Skinny Wolf? Uh, yeah, I guess not. Is McGurk ripping off the wig or is he crushing his head? I can't tell. I, I can't tell. Is that a wig? I don't know if it is or not. Maybe McGurk was checking. Yeah, he probably was. He's like, get that shit off your head. Oh, God damn, it's real. <laughs> that's been like off. that since 1975. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazingly <laughs> like him. Uh, it does. I, uh, I do a pretty good impression of him, actually. He's oh. beating him right in that eagle. <laughs> Butterball just leveled Slender. Put him around right on the mat with a shoulder block, it looked like. Butterball packs a lot of power into a very small package. Yeah, a very small little turkey right out of the package package. Yeah, he's like a spring just waiting to explode, I think, you know. He's got uh, Man Mountain McGurk or Mongo level power squished into a quarter oh. of his size. McGurk just decked... Uh, Average white man. Somebody just knocked their sunglasses off his face. Yeah, I agree. Well, you know, those sunglasses, I don't know, those are probably bought back when things were actually made with some quality. It'd be hard to break those. But I bet you those cheap pieces of shit Duke Davis wears, you could probably slap them and break them. Same thing with those pieces of shit that Jukebox Hero had. These are random notes of possess. I think he got those from a Halloween store or something. I don't know. Marv is beating up the mythical Maple Leap. Yes, well, good. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge Maple Leaf fan. The dude creeps me out, so I'm not really going to say anything about that. If Marv ripped his head off, it probably wouldn't hurt my feelings. Throw him out of the ring! He just did a shoulder arm breaker on Maple Leaf. On his kind of... giant uh, anaconda-looking <laughs> arms. It's, it's hilarious trying to watch somebody put a wrist lock on Maple Leaf. It just doesn't work. Yeah, it looks like somebody's trying to put a wrist lock on one of those little plastic segmented steaks, you, you, snakes you pick up at a flea market. Yeah, exactly. They throw a maple leaf into the pole. That'll work. Oh, right in the shoulder. I think King Slayer just used a back rake on Butterball. Yes, he did. He's definitely not above bending and breaking the rules. Especially now when somebody has half his size. Oh, he got taken down for it. Girk just, what was that, his chin buster? Yeah, it was a jawbreaker. Average white man put on him. What the <laughs> hell? Average white man with a springboard back off the middle rope into the ring. He takes McGurk down with it. 
Hey, wasn't Maple Ape in the uh, match that uh, Everest White Man won? I thought he was in two of these Battle Royals. Yeah, he may have been, but he only won one of them. He won the uh, one of the ones from our last week's show. The ref trying to get the hell out of there. Butterball's yeah. coming his way. Yeah, pretty smart of him to move. but He remembers the last time Butterball got near him. Only smart thing he's ever done. There's Marv with that chicken wing move. We still haven't investigated that, by the way. Oh, well, we can't. I, I, I think there's some... There's some collusion going on backstage where people are getting bonuses for using certain moves. Yeah, I think it's possible. We need to make sure that that, that gets cut out because we don't want people getting paid. Yeah, and Butterball just hit King Slender in the balls. That was special. Well, he's got the right height for it. Yeah. Well, I think he kicked him. Uh, Slender was going towards him on the ground, and Butterball just kicked him right in the balls. Kicked him right in the Royal Jewels. Which, you know, I can't. Does Butterball copy Slender's own move? Yeah, I can't find any fault with Butterball because Slender would certainly hit him in the balls if the opportunity presented itself. Butterball's beating him in the face. I think McGurk just fell on Average White Man. Yeah, he probably did. That would be the end of Average White Man if it happened. Wish it was. The big oh. body slam there. He might be slapping Marv with his humongous hands. Another knee breaker on King Slender from Butterball. It's like he's mocking him using his own moves. I don't know how much effect the dragon screw leg whip would actually have on Butterball. His legs aren't big well, how enough. How could you get it? I mean, you, yeah, and you how could you put him there. in the figure four? I mean, it'd be impossible. You need to be a toddler. It'd be like trying to dragon screw leg whip a chicken drumstick. Marv with a neck breaker. Neck breaker. That's oh. a much more effective move to use on Butterball. Well, he Although has a he, neck. He had to basically be in a crouch to get Butterball in the move. McGurk and average white man are still going at it uh -oh. over here. Oof. Boom. Splat. There's a, some kind of suplex, ver variation of the suplex from Butterball. And well, Dirk's yelling at the crowd again. He loves to do this. Yeah, he wants that He wants that kid's cotton candy out there, like he said. Butterball put a, a hot cover dog. on King Slender, but, you know. That didn't work out. No, it didn't. Big headbutt on the back of Marv's head. The hell was that? It's a body slam, but with Maple Ape's humongous arms, it just yeah. doesn't look right. There's that chicken wing again. Average white man's going to go for the ride all the oh, way across the got ring. Oh, he's over Man Mountain McGurk. That, Butterball, yeah, continues, yeah, Butterball continues to impress with his power every week. There's the backbreaker oh, on, uh, back Maple Ape. on Maple Ape. Don't know if that's going to be enough to do it yet. Another follow-up One, slam on. Two. No, Maple Leap out at the last second. He's got that troll regeneration. Maple Leap, I mean, uh, Butterball is just manhandling Evers White Man. Here. Yeah, he is. Slender puts a big suplex on Maple Leap. Butterball's putting the power slam on Average White Man. That's a count on, no. Ooh. Man Mountain McGurk out after one with the uh, chokehold from Marv. Butterball going for the cover. One, two... Three, and that's oh, the white man. Butterball gets the first elimination. He was just tossing him around the ring. See, I, I, I was right. I backed the right pony. You definitely backed the right horse here. It's hard to... Uh, I don't know if you call him a horse. Well, yeah, pony is probably more appropriate. Shetland pony. Yeah. Uh-oh, these giant facehugger hands. He's going yeah, to Yeah, facehugger's ready to, ready to pounce. There it goes. Now King Slender's oh, going to have Lord. an embryo in him. <laughs> Dear King God. Slender down, and now Man Mountain McGurk. Holy oh, shit! Oh, holy hell! Two, and it's the second power bomb that he's Man Mountain McGurk is four hundred pounds. One, two, and he's Eight out on two. Kicks out. Okay, I gotta say that was probably because Man Mountain McGurk is so big that Marv could not get the right leverage on him with those with those power bombs. Oh, now we got a double team going here. It's like Man Mountain McGurk and Mini Me. <laughs> <laughs> If, if Butterball <laughs> shaved his beard, he would be McGurk's mini-me. He would be well, almost identical. Like, he just runs over and grabs Maple Leaf just to drop him on his neck. Well, Butterball's I, just like unchecked aggression. I was about to say that. You took the words right out of my mouth. I think he's got a lot of unchecked aggression here. Uh, which, I mean, I guess if I grew up looking like him, I'd probably be pretty pissed off, too. Oh! Maple Leaf just bent poor Butterball in Yeah, half. and when you get an action figure neck like Butterball has, that's yeah. a... Really Particularly devastating move. Especially an action figure like Ram Man. Yeah, it could snap his head right clean off. Just leave that white plastic showing on his neck. <laughs> Double choke slam on King Slender. Marvin McGurk just beating the piss out of each other. 
to cover, cover on Slender in a two, but no more than that. Maple Leaf tells Butterball to bring it on a second ago. Butterball's doing it. There's only a one count on McGurk there. McGurk's a tough son of a bitch, there's no question. And now Slender just attacking from behind. Oof. Oh! He's Man, got Bulldog on top of Maple Leaf. Yeah, he's really lucky that McGurk didn't land like tits first on his face. That would have been the end of him. Yeah, oh, Maple Butter Leaf's tapping. Yeah, Maple Leaf gives up to the ab stretch. Butterball with the second elimination. Wait a second. Butterball ain't done. Butterball's not done, but Maple Leaf should be leaving here. What the hell's going on here? I don't know. Maple Leaf did tap, didn't he? I, to me, it looked like he tapped. Did the ref see it? I don't know if the ref saw it, but I saw I saw Maple Leaf tap for sure. He was tapping. He should be gone. All right, so Butterball got the second. Okay, well, regardless of what happens from here on out, unless Maple Leaf wins the match, then I guess we say that uh, Butterball got the second elimination. And the oh, first. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lord. McGurk just flattened him. McGurk's going to fucking kill him if he does that again. Knocked the maple syrup right out of him. What is Marv going to do here again? Double, uh, double choke, choke slam. slam. Uh, oof. Oof. This is starting to piss me off, though. I saw Maple Leaf tap. Maple he should not be out tapped. I, I got it. Did the ref see it? Did somebody interfere with the ref? I don't or? know. Maybe someone pushed the ref. I, I don't know. Someone well, must have interfered King with Slender's the ref choking either, here. either inadvertently or on purpose. I don't know. Come on, Slender. He's got baby legs. Yeah, he keeps... There's a baloney roll on... Yeah, now we got yeah, the let's cover. Let's see if we get a cover. The pile driver coming up on Butterball. All right, oh. now Maple Leaf's gone now for Maple sure. Leaf. Although, I still credit that elimination to Butterball. One... <laughs> A one count okay. after a pile driver. Butterball just pulled a Road Warrior Hawk on that pile driver. I mean, he just totally no sold it. Like it didn't even happen. Oh, oh! Slender waited too long to act. Yes, he did. Butterball's pissed hey, off. He's pissed off. Power slam coming up. Oh! Now I wonder if that's going to be it for King Slender. It's a possibility. Butterball's wasting time though. One, two. Three. Oh. King Slender is gone. And McGurk just leveled Marv. You know, you got to think that King Slender, after that pile driver, just did nothing to Butterball. Was like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. Butterball, he's on fire. He's That aggression's coming out of him again. Oh, look, get, get the hell out of there, ref. Yeah, the ref better move. Ass. You don't want to get hit with a flying McGurk. <laughs> it's horrifying, actually. Yes, it is. That was his great great grandfather's finisher. One. And only a one count. I don't think I've heard that story. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get to it sooner or later. <laughs> Another double team action here. I'm not sure, but I think McGurk has had the most double teams performed on him in this match. Yeah, well, he's the biggest guy out there. I mean, Marv is a, Marv's a big man, but McGurk is way, way bigger and heavier. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Butterball's what you get for trying to Pearl Harbor, man. He's looking right at you. Yeah, that was probably not the smartest thing in the world to do. Oh. <laughs> He's putting the boots to Marv. <laughs> They're both kicking him down. Just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Butterball is just angry. He's just like an angry little midget. Well, I think both these guys at this point, if they do any studying of this sport at all, have to know that if they're going to beat Marv, they have to double team him. It's just about half. do here? Ooh, knee oh! right in the shoulder or right in the face? I couldn't tell from his angle. That's the most air I've ever seen Butterball get, and it was even with the top rope. Marv's taking some heavy punishment here. Nothing we haven't seen him take before, but that doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean you want to be taking it. Uh oh, McGurk turning on Butterball. A double team coming up here. Double team soup. That seems kind of unnecessary. Yeah, he's a midget. Uh -oh. I mean, come on. It'll take both of you. Oh, hell. What is this? Marv, I don't know. Marv drew the thumb across the throat. I think, yeah. I think he was going for the, the hard goodbye, but Butterball slipped around behind him. <coughs> Now McGurk's getting in the way. Mars ready to take him down, but things aren't going his way. No. We McGurk with a here. pin. One. Butterball out on one. I don't think he's going to get him with some shoulder presses no. in the oh. corner. Punch him right in the heart. Now he's going to hit him. the kidneys. He's going to hit McGurk with the hard goodbye if he didn't quit. 
He already got him once with it. Yeah, we're gonna, oh. Oh, he's going for the baloney roll, but. Yeah, Marv hit him in the back and he dropped Butterball. That could that could cause a significant swing in this match. Yeah, that could change the match because that probably would have been it for Butterball. Yeah, if, if McGurk hits that move, I think that's it for Butterball. Marv may have made a major mistake there if not letting him just take Butterball out. Working on McGurk's knee. Wait a minute, uh -oh, here we go here again, we go again. roll. Oh. Marv tries to steal the cover. Pop. One, two, no, yeah. out the back two, door. Two and a half, again, Mar cover. McGurk's like, fuck, you didn't do it right, one. <laughs> Butterball out again. Well, combined together, they got a three count. It was like McGurk couldn't believe it. He was like, there's no way he kicked out. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a double team on McGurk now. Butterball, you might have to drop him out of a plane or something to stop him. We got a two, no. Put him up against Mongo, maybe. Yeah, exactly. We might be seeing that match in the near future. If he survives a Stills Jackson match. Yeah, that's true. Gotta survive here first. Another double suplex on McGurk. They're really double teaming the hell out of McGurk. Kinda have to with the size. Yeah, I agree. But <laughs> that's a 400 pound man, folks. <laughs> oh my lord, into a shoulder power slam. Butterball to pin on Marv. I think he meant to pin McGurk. Yeah, he meant to pin McGurk, but Marv's in the way. Yeah, Marv got in the way. McGurk is still down. I think if he made Butterball gets the pin there, he he eliminates McGurk, but Things weren't going his way again. Yeah, two points, so things could have significantly swung the other way. Not even a two count on Butterball, but that was just an arm drag, so. Ref did can't say it was a two count, and he held up two fingers. Well, I didn't see a two count. But. I didn't either. Maybe he's just holding up two fingers to identify how high he can count. Yeah. Or which two go up his ass, one of the two. Well, he Fix. held up two fingers on both hands, so. Oh. <laughs> Well, we could be looking at a very special referee then. Wouldn't be surprised. Marv with an arm bar an on arm bar. McGurk. Well, he lets it go pretty quick, though. I don't know how smart that was. Took some time. Well, look at that. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to make McGurk uglier than he already is. I don't know if that's necessary. <laughs> you can't call Flyers here anymore, Butterball. Yeah, I know. Another double team coming up on McGurk. This is getting what? crazy. I don't know how, how the man's not staying down. Keeps getting chances. McGurk oh. counters that with a jawbreaker. He's got his back turned to Butterball, though. Not very smart. That wasn't smart. He tried to taunt the crowd again. Well, he got lucky that he... Oh. <laughs> now he's going to do it. Yes. Yeah, don't interrupt my taunt, <laughs> I guess. And now they're going to double-team him again. When McGurk's got a story to tell, he doesn't like people getting in the way. Oh, you're not gonna get him on that one. No, you're not gonna get him off of a off of a wrist lock takedown. I don't think. Got to hit him with something better than that. And he gives it another double team. McGurk's not gonna be able to fucking breathe when this is over with. Oh, elbows to how the he's back, kicks to the ribs. Now a camel clutch. I wouldn't be surprised to see McGurk give up here. His hands All the damage on the ropes. done to his ribs. Yeah, that's that's it. He threw him up, but his hand was hitting the ropes. Well, blame our referee for being stupid. Well, We're down to Marv and Butterball now. Poor McGurk is still laying there. Yeah. All right, well, at least he's getting out of the ring, unlike Maple Leaf. Maple Leaf. Stayed. Marv's looking at Butterball like he doesn't know what to do. Poor Butterball. He's looking Said at Butterball. Like... out of him. I don't know. Marv wasting a lot of time there. Yeah, I think. Oh, maybe he didn't give a shit. That's one. I think he was thinking Butterball should stay down so he didn't have to do this. That's two. Oh and that's Lord. the hard goodbye, folks. I think that's going to be all. I don't know. One, two, three. Oh. Marv is, the, is your much. king of battle royals, folks. I came within one. I, I honestly think that was Marv telling Butterball just stay down. But Butterball was not the type to just stay down. <laughs> Butterball doesn't understand most words, so... Yeah, let alone quit or stay down or anything like that. It's basically for him, it's like play ball and rape. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty much, much it. That's why he wears yellow. 
Some good replays here. It's the last gut crusher that took McGurk out. I mean, I don't oh. blame him for giving up to that camel. I was surprised he's got any intact ribs at this point. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy the way they abused him. But in any case, fans, Marv survives the Battle Royal. He is the king of Battle Royals for our first uh, little quarter here of uh, WTF. Marv King and WrestleMania one of the Butterball came very close. I have to definitely give credit to Butterball, especially considering he's got another match coming up later. That could yeah. Be, I'm mean. glad McGurk does. It. Yo, McGurk, does McGurk have another match coming up? No, he does not. Well, that's a good thing for him because I don't the know if he can make it. The only two people double booked tonight were Butterball and Mike Hagar. Two tough sons of bitches there. Butterball yep, finally two tough sons of bitches right. left in the ring here too, folks. All right, it's time for the mystery match, folks. This is the one I told you about that I couldn't reveal anything about. Well, here we go. The fuck am I hearing? I think you're I'm hearing. hearing a, I'm hearing a half naked chick. No, you're seeing a half naked chick. You're hearing the theme song for Athena. Oh Jesus Christ! Yes. So not only do we have shitty fucking urban champions and. Now we get to have shitty female wrestlers here, too? It's all about equality, Mr. Wiggles. Um, shitty video game protagonists are not male exclusive. Well, we need to have a cameraman on that side of the ring every time she gets in the ropes like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figure by, since, since now the, uh, the bubble has been burst somewhat, so to speak, on the female division, you'll have a lot of cameramen at ringside from now on. Who the hell is this chick? This is Lolita, Mr. Wiggles. She says she's a bad girl. I'll mm -hmm. be the judge of that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. Uh, from what I understand, this uh, this lady has uh, she she has a reputation, and it's not is nothing sexual. Her reputation is that she likes to fool men. She's like a man eater. She likes she's to not, make you think, "Oh, look at me, I'm sweet and innocent." And the next thing you know, you know, she's not a bone smuggler, is she? I not that I'm aware of. Although I don't we don't need any of those. No, we definitely don't need any bone smugglers. I mean, you know, other than uh, Randy. <laughs> yeah, she's about to find out the hard way that not all women who got into wrestling got into it to dance and sing. Yeah, there, there's quite a few just like to beat people half to death. There's, there's some that just like to kick you in the face until you stop moving. Um, and you're looking at one of them coming down the ramp right now. There's one sitting at, like, uh, there's one talking. Yeah. <laughs> I got the wrestling because it was legal to kick people in the nuts. <laughs> Monet with Methaland is coming to the ring, folks. Her daughter, Jaren, is actually has been a world heavyweight champion in the men's division before. Oh, to be perfectly honest, it was mixed. Yeah, it was mixed, but still, that means she had to face humongous men. In it, well. well, to be fair, she's a humongous woman. Yes, she is. <laughs> Speaking of fighters who don't take any shit. Oh, uh, well, I see we've recycled the EFW's female division. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Were they all out of work? <laughs> well, I don't see EFW anymore anymore, do you? No Andre comment. Carter, the murder machine, folks, is a wrestler for the University of Michigan. If you'll notice, she has a tattoo on her right bicep. That tattoo is the number of people she sent to the hospital in wrestling matches. It's currently at five, and one of those five <laughs> was Mornay with Methylandis in EFW last year. My tire. Yeah, yours is, is higher, I agree. But you didn't do it with legitimate wrestling moves. You did it with cinder blocks and bats. Yeah, and brass knuckles, uh, barbed wire. Carter Both. doesn't use anything like that. She just uses crushing suplexes to break people in half and give them concussions. Roll of quarters. It, that was always one of your favorites, the roll of quarters. Especially if you hit it so hard the quarters go flying. <laughs> Because then you can tell the Jews in the audience they try to get the rail, uh, try to get over the rail to get them. Ah, that's enough. Okay, stop. <laughs> Just tell the truth. Truth in your eyes. Stereotypes exist for a reason. <laughs> uh, speaking of Mr. Wiggles, speaking of us recycling the EFW Women's Division. Uh, so far, that's going to be the third competitor for this match from the EFW's Women's Division. Whisper was a fan favorite. Uh, she is uh, very good friends with Mornay with Methylandis. Actually, looks up to her like a mother. <coughs> uh, and she is not a big fan of Lance Van Horns. I don't have a Lance Van Horn. Last time I saw, you got no wait, no. That who was that that Chuck Steak beat the hell out of? That was Lance Van Horn, actually. Was that Lance Van Horn? I thought so. That was funny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Whisper grew up in a very conservative town called Brownsville, Texas. Uh, needless to say, she didn't live there very long. Uh, her lifestyle is not really conducive with deeply religious communities. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Just, uh... Yeah. That's why there's lots of other places in the world, right? Yeah, come to... Where the hell do I live? I don't even know New anymore. Jersey. Jersey Shore. I don't know. Try to keep that secret. Uh, speaking of Jaren, um, if Whisper and more and more when were here, we weren't going to see her uh, too far behind them. Now, looking at this lady, I, I should tell you guys that she is 250 pounds, somewhere between six four and six six, depending that, on what boots she's wearing that day. I told you. She's she's the Godzilla of the women's division. She's just Godzilla. She's just Godzilla. Period. Yes. I mean, if you don't count Butterball. Yeah. Jared would be the odds on favor to win this match from sheer size alone, but Battle Royals, anything can happen. Jared, a is former a, EFW World Heavyweight Champion. So, take that in. Is this a uh, over-the-top rope Battle Royal? No, it is not. There's, uh, there's a lot of... A lot of, a lot yeah. of what? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Now yeah, you just have to pay extra to see this on TV. <laughs> yeah, you usually have to order the special channels, right? Well, I don't have to order them, but I gotta tune to them. You're a pig, Mr. Wiggles. I just gotta say that. Look at that poor ref. Yeah. He's well, like, I'm I mean... out of my element here. There's, there's women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knows what to do. I mean, he's completely lost. He's got a thousand yard stare here in a moment, or turn himself off into a catatonic state like one of those. One of those. He does that during half the men's matches. Look at uh, him, he's just staring at nothing. You know, I know that Lolita is a, is a technically skilled competitor, but if Jared falls on her a couple more times, that's going to be the end of her. There's not going to be. Uh, well, if Jared falls on any of them in here, there's not going to be. She can fall on the ref. I hope she falls on the ref, to be honest. He she would never intentionally hit a referee, but maybe think... an accident. I think a referee's akin to Danshuko Dino. <laughs> it's possible. He's a little akin oh to Richard God. Simmons, to be honest. Carter definitely, uh, as far as power, burst power, the, the, the te power and technique mix, Carter's definitely the one to watch in this match. She can. She may not be as strong as Jaren. She could definitely snap your neck with a German suplex, though. So you got to... Be careful of that. She is not unlike Jaren. Jaren's not going to try to hurt you. Carter doesn't care. If you end up with a broken neck, she could give a shit. Well, that's the only way to live life. <laughs> Ooh! What the hell was that? I was that was a, it was a top rope drop kick right in the chest. You know, that, that's, that chick's in there wearing glasses, too. One of these days, people are going to learn. Yeah, when somebody gets fucking blinded. Yep. You're going to get blind. And then what are you going to do at the, I don't know, supermarket? The high cross You're body off the blind. top on Carter. Yeah, exactly. You're blind. What do you do then? You get a seeing eye dog. That's your only hope. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Whisper's head disappeared into the valley. <laughs> Luckily, it came back. I'm willing to bet that time and space was a mystery. <laughs> yeah, at least for a few moments, right? Yeah, it was full of stars. <laughs> More than anyone and Carter going at it over in the corner. These two do not like each other, actually. There's been rumors. Oh, no shit. Uh, you put her in the hospital. Yeah, there's been unsubstantiated rumors that no one will confirm that uh, after Carter put Morn in the hospital, that Whisper went to her house and beat the shit out of her with a golf club. Although, like I said, no one knows if that's oh, true. Carter certainly God. isn't admitting it. She's got, she got kicked right in her face. Got a DDT here. Athena just hit a DDT. It's See if that's good. Gonna... No, she didn't go for the cover though. That's she's unusual. an idiot. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, you'd think you hit a DDT, you would at least try a pin. Only if you're like got you have like brains. In yeah, your head. some some kind of brains or wrestling. You can just look at the vacuousness between those ears and know there ain't nothing there. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. I hit it in an ass game. Yeah. Whisper so and Jaren are going Duke at it. Davis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the Urban Champion, for that matter. Urban Champion's a myth. 
Whisper and Jared are going at it over there. Those two are, they, they, they consider themselves like sisters, but inside the ring, you know, anything goes. Every woman for herself here. Oh my god. It's it's really sick to think that a person that big can move like that. I've only seen one other person that's that size Holy or bigger shit. move like that. <laughs> if I tried to move like that, I'd fucking... My entire body would implode. That stereo pullbacks into a backbreaker and a belly-to-belly -belly suplex there. That was interesting. You ever seen uh, Lethal Weapon 3 when Roger Murtaugh tried to do that back kick and he kicked over that cubicle? Yes. Yeah, that's what would happen if I tried to move like that. Yeah, well, that you talking about that flip kick that Mornaywin just did? Maybe I don't even know how. Maybe the she's doing. I, I don't understand any of it. I forget it. I, I might sprain my ankles climbing the steps into the ring. I'm getting winded looking at the steps. <laughs> Well, hey, at least you were a competitor at some point, Mr. Wiggles. Have you ever thought about making a comeback? If the pay's good enough. Well, I guess I'm that puts that not, out. <laughs> I'm not getting there with Mongo without a couple of zeros. Ooh, this is oh power my slam. God. <laughs> oh, I'm my God, she survived. I'm shocked she survived. Uh-oh. I'm not going to survive that this. A suplex into it. Nope, that's... Oof. Oh, my God. No, she ain't getting up from that, folks. One, two... Three. No. How the hell are you? <laughs> I saw that thing put Jack Furlong down. She's not getting up from it. I'm surprised she's not dead. Morneman hits the truth bringer on the other side of the ring. It's a sunset flip power bomb on Carter, but she didn't go for the pin. Two, two and a half. I almost got her anyway. Those two are just beating the shit out of each other, and they have been since the beginning. They do not like each other at all. Carter, Carter's kind of a no nonsense. You know, doesn't really. No makeup, no nonsense, barely brushes her hair kind of person. She's just interested in violence. That's not Morn. Morn is the Morn is you know, the fans look at her as like this little dainty thing. Oh Jesus. Oh that was painful to watch. Jesus. Morn is the, trying to hide. <laughs> that's a one. No, Morn out on one. She may be the smallest competitor in the FW. Dragon suplex on Athena looks like Whisper. <laughs> uh, She's holding look at her hands. Tits. Yeah, okay. Whis Whisper definitely. All right, she's going for this. What the hell is this thing? That's a shoe bane. It's named after. She uses that for the same reason that she uses the Brain Buster. It's a specific individual. One, two. Athena survives it, and a murder machine coming up on Morn. Oh, she just Lord. got dropped she just on her neck. Threw her around like she was a bag of cat litter. One, two. <laughs> There's a lot of people kicking out of shit they shouldn't be kicking out of. Yeah, well, these are some uh, these are some of the top female competitors in the world if you don't count Athena. I don't. And Morn, like I said, she may be the smallest competitor in WTF at this point, but she's definitely got as much heart or more than anybody. Tear her head off, for fuck's sake! Fucking hair insults me. Big... <laughs> Big backdrop on Whisper. There. Another body splash coming oh, up. Oh, no. Oof. That's like the fourth one. She's hit everybody with it. That's... What do we got here? A backdrop on Jaren. Carter taking her over. Holding oh, on no. to it. Oh, we, we got a rolling one here. Yes, we got a Hurricane Rana on the side. And no, more oh, reverses. A it. reversal. Wow, there's actually wrestling here now. Yes, exactly. There's a one. Jaren kicked out of a triple backdrop on one. Oh. Look at her. Yeah, I, <laughs> hey, you think you it would have hurt her more. The Carter taking a different tactic now, going for an arm bar. <laughs> yeah, trying to Probably break pretty it. smart. The only way you're gonna win. Yeah. Another one of those fucking kicks that makes the fiber of my bead hurt. <laughs> Whisper of the clothesline and another clothesline on Jaren. Looked like she missed that final move. The, because uh, of Athena's dumbass. <laughs> Somebody hit her with a bat. Jaren with a modified face eraser on Whisper now turning into what a submission hold. Oh god. We got a double Jesus team DDT Christ. on Morn on the other side of the ring. Now Morn flips back to her feet. She looks pissed. Oh Oof. Lord. Yeah, she needs to watch her back though. Jaren's got Whisper up in a big Oh god. <laughs> god. Two, three. I love Whisper. But there's only so much a body can take. 
Now Athena going up. Oh, oh it looks like oh, she's well. going up for the, the ride for that jackhammer. Oh, she's going to do it again. again. She's not done. Oh. Jackhammer delivered. That's it for Athena. I hope so. Even the mushroom trick isn't saving her here. Get the fuck out of here. Go find a real game. Now it's mother and daughter and Carter left. One, two. And Jared just stands by and watches. She's not going to get involved there. Uh-oh. This doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't seem right. I know Morin had a law had a hard time convincing her daughter that when you're in the ring you can't have relationships, you can't worry about the fact that someone's your friend or your mother. Maybe she finally got through to her. Well see that's a bad idea. Yes it is. Th that's why the oh, well, bring her on now. <laughs> that could be it for Carter. Three, yes, now it's down to the mother and daughter. See that's why they why for so long. But yeah, because you basically took a three-on-one in every situation. Right. Paul Nelson on here. More than the three-on-one most times. And that's it. I swear the guy heard something, like, blow up. I'm not sure what that was. Somebody got blown up in the back or something, or there's fireworks, or... Well, Jared was the winner of our of our inaugural female battle royal here, guys, and I gotta say I'm not too terribly surprised. I mean, how the hell could she not? Uh, her tits were as big as Whisper's chest, so I mean, it's gonna take tenacity and it's gonna take wrestling skill if you want to beat Jared, because you're not gonna overpower her. I don't know. You could overpower her. Put her up against Mongo. See how that. Happens. Well, Mongo, but I'm talking about females. We we can't do mixed well, matches we can't, in WWE. We can't put regular women against her. <laughs> Well, they're in for a long, uh, a long time, uh, a long hard time then, because that's all there's going to be. Because I mean, it's not a fair division. It's going to take, it's going to take heart. It's going to take wrestling skill. And kryptonite, I, I, yeah, <laughs> kryptonite possibly. How's that rope holding her? I, well, I mean, she's, I said, somewhere between six four and six six, depending on what boots she's wearing that day. And about 250 pounds. So she's still like 200 pounds lighter than like Man Mountain McGurk, for instance. Man Mountain McGurk. You know. Have we got a word on Man Mountain McGurk? Is he dead? Or? Six man tag is up next, folks. We got Blood Money versus Mike Hagar, Papa Wrestling, and who? We don't know. Uh, it's going to be somebody who wants to kick these guys' asses. Is, is this the actual official time we've seen Zombie? Yeah, this is the Ralph. first time we've seen Zombie Ralph in actual action. By the way, Mr. Wills, okay. I was just handed a note, and Man Mount McGurk is okay. He's just really pissed. Well, that's not a tip, you know, uncommon. Wait a yeah. minute, hold on. Well, look at the life that's in Undead Miller here. I, I think they're. I think that, you know, they're a little happy to be here. Maybe they've been asleep all day. There's more fucking life in Zombie Ralph now that he's dead. <laughs> the power of necromancy, right? Jeez. Count the Monet sure seems confident in his team's uh, abilities here, but uh, I, Mike Agar said that we're going to be introduced to the newest member of World's Greatest Dads tonight. Oh, I'm curious to see that. Yeah, so, okay, here's here's Hagar and Papa Wrestling. So, from the clues that we got, we know that he's going to be just the man for the job that Hagar said, but we also know now he's going to be one of the World's Greatest Dads. So that puts him in the same group as Hagar, who destroyed an entire city looking for his daughter, and Papa Wrestling, who killed an elementary school class to avenge his son's lunch being stolen. <laughs> so I don't know who they have in mind here, but... I hate to see what he'd do to somebody who actually, like, hit his son. Yeah, exactly. And he count the money bailed out of the ring like a chicken shit. That's funny. Well, yeah, he better. There's not no Pearl Harbor attacks going on here. All right, let's see who the mystery partner is, folks. Oh gee. They uh, yeah, they did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, see, this is what happens. This is what happens. When you fuck with the bull, you get the horns. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't recognize this man, this man is John Matrix. Speaking of the world's greatest dads, this man blew up a fucking island to find his daughter. <laughs> he killed a separatist army single-handedly. Yes, he did. He planted Claymore mines on the ground that blew up towers that were 50 feet in the air above him. It actually how did he do time. that? We don't know. He's John Matrix. That's how he did it. 
dives out of a movie plane. He did a fireman's carry slam on a phone booth that had a grown man in it. Wow, there was like, oh yeah, let's not forget they beat up 15 security guards at once. Yes. One gigantic motherfucker. And Count the Money's not. No, Count the Money starting this match off with Hagar. You know, I don't know if anybody on Blood Money's team knows who John Matrix is, but if well, they I'm, do, they better be The only scared. one who has cognitive faculties to understand who somebody actually is is Count de Monet. The other two are fucking, might as well be slons over there. Yeah, and I don't know if he watches action films, so I don't know if he, hey, he knows. Not. That might be why he's screwing with Hagar. I mean, if he doesn't play video games, he doesn't know who Hagar is. I don't know how you could not have heard of Hagar at this point. He's in a bad part of town right now, though. He's going to get his poke ass whipped. Yeah. <laughs> Double team flatback on account of the money. Around the T. I have a feeling you're going to get your head rammed up in this match. Rammed up your ass in this match. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. What happened there? <laughs> uh, I think Papa Wrestling tried to roll with a punch, but there was nowhere to roll with it. Yeah, he's, he's a little big. The ropes are in the way, and he's in the corner. I love the way he wrestles with his cape on. That's one of my favorite things about him. Nice twisting power slam, but count the money. He does it well, too. Yes. He's not backing down. I'll give him that. I mean... He's always been a little aggressive, especially for, like... Oh, another power slam. Yeah, he's really showing he's not afraid of Papa Wrestling here. Yeah, he's showing that he... I mean, he's about half the size of Papa Wrestling. He's throwing around like he weighs nothing. Yeah. So I give him credit. I mean... Seems like his strength is a bit supernatural. Now yeah, it could be, you know. Yeah, and understand who this guy is yet, so... Throw in the yeah. fodder. Undead Miller just walks right past me. He's like, yeah, I'm going to fight Hagar. No, I don't think so, buddy. Well, see, he knows Hagar, and he's programmed or... Yeah, he's programmed to fight, to fight Hagar. Hagar. He's not programmed. He doesn't know who this guy is. He hasn't been entered into the memory banks yet. Look at him. His yeah, mouth Matrix is going to beat his name in there. I think he's still got some bruises or... Like blood pulling from that cage match. By the way, fans, we did get Robert Faggot down off of the cage, and he is going to be ready for his match here tonight, regardless of how much he begged and pleaded to not be in it, which was a lot. I actually and have several emails where he offered to give away his wife, you know, his future wife, his future children, his sister's husbands, anything he could to get out of the match, but uh, our powers that be were not uh, listening. Yeah, well, it's considering that it took the fireman to talk him down and a ladder to get him off of it. it. It was an embarrassment, is all I can say. But not enough about Robert Faggot. I'm Dev Miller and count the money here, going for a double team maneuver on Matrix. You know, as tough as he is, I will say this. Ooh. Tough as he is and badass as he is, Matrix is a rookie to the wrestling ring as far as I'm aware. Oh, there's Count Monet doing that same Pearl Harbor hit. He just knocked Hagar into he the railing. does not like Mike Hagar, and I would love to know the story of this. We haven't heard a No, we got to find out. Oh, he oh. Matrix. <laughs> you cheap son of a bitch. Get back in there. She, she cheap shots Matrix. Yes, this is where experience is coming in for Count de Monet. Well, experience is not coming in for Zombie Ralph because he's wandering around like they're like he's lost his dick. Undead Miller's getting sent into the wrong part of town again. Got another double team maneuver coming up. Papa Wrestling with some agility. Well, double team is, back uh, elbow. A luchador, I guess? I don't know. He's, he's pissed. Going he's over. not like Count de Monet. Count de Monet. Get in the fucking ring, punk. <laughs> Count the main one having him, he just beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Andre Miller took the opportunity to take a cheap shot at Matrix, but that was hilarious. Bob Wrestling just standing right in his face and telling him to bring it, and he wouldn't do it. Oh! Hey, Andre Miller's big, but Papa Wrestling is a powerhouse in and of himself. Oh, there's Hagar. Yeah, yeah. you're looking to fight Hagar. Here he is, you undead son of a bitch. Yeah, here's some elbows for you. This is an elimination tag match just to reinforce that point, so the entire team must be defeated. One pinfall, one submission will not end this match. That's not good for the blood money. I agree with you. I think that actually favors the uh, World's Greatest Dads team because I don't know how effective Hell's either Undead Zombie Miller Ralph or Undead do. Miller would be without counting the money out there. Ours Undead Miller's first action. You know, that's Zombie Ralph's first action, you mean. Oh, well, you know, whatever. The it's all dead assholes. Really. It's all the same, really. One's one a hillbilly, one's an idiot. 
The back oh, body drop oh, over. Oh, just the... it right to the floor like a sack of monkey shit. That had to hurt. That was a long fall. If he could even feel pain anymore, do we even know? I know. <laughs> oh! He felt that. I'll tell you that much. He's getting the shit kicked out of him. This is a bad part of town for... Where are his Where's partners? Where are his partners? They're, they're letting him get his ass They're with. laughing. I'm looking at him. They're laughing right now. They think this is funny. Well, so do I, but... Yeah, but, they, but they're supposed to be his partners. You're not. <sighs> <laughs> I can't believe they were laughing. As a first showing for Zombie Ralph, this is pretty piss poor. I, I agree. Well, it's like he said, he was this stiff when he was alive. Now he's Lex Luger level. He's dead. <laughs> We gotta bring up Lex Luger. Boy, I'm looking at a dead man trying to wrestle. The first thing I think of is Lex Luger. Really? I think of Hulk Hogan. Come on, Hulk. Oh! You got this, baby. You got it. There's a headbutt. Yeah, where is Jimmy Hart? Can we hire him? No. The first thing he'll want I is mean, to make he... all the women naked. Then we definitely gotta hire him. <laughs> I'm, looking at him up. I'm looking up his number tonight. <laughs> Zombie Ralph actually starting to show a little bit here. He got a vicious headbutt and some good punches in there. Can you imagine that last match if they were all naked? <laughs> I'm not even answering that. Zombie Ralph now has got the airplane spin on on John Matrix. What in the hell? <laughs> of all things, the airplane spin? <laughs> guess if you're dead, you can't get dizzy. There's a one, but Matrix is out. Still got a brain, doesn't he? Well, I guess. I don't know. Could have a hamster up there for all I know. Oof. Oh, no, he's got nothing. I don't know if he had much more to hamster there when he was alive. He's probably got a horse apple up there now. <laughs> Matrix with the power bomb oh on Zombie Ralph. He just shit his overalls. <laughs> There's a cover. One, two. Yeah, the oh, World's Greatest Dash team. They did a good job keeping the partners out of that. It wasn't idiot. quite enough. Taking a load off in the corner like an idiot. That totally missed you, zombie asshole. Get up. Miller and Count the Money are out there pissed what off. What the hell are they doing over there? I don't know. They're pissed. <laughs> they're pissed at Ralph for almost getting beat. Yeah, but maybe they should get back in the corner so he can tag. Well, they were they're... just laughing at him getting his ass kicked three on one. I don't think they care whether Where he tags. Where's Zombie at... Miller going? <laughs> I know. Miller, he doesn't give a... What the hell? He, has he doesn't no give idea. a shit. He has no idea what's going on. He's over there in front of Jerry Lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so Where the did hell he leave? Oh, there he is. He is. <laughs> He's still over there. It's like he refuses to tag. He's like, I ain't being a part of this. He's. I, what the hell is he doing? I don't know. Maybe he's pissed. Maybe uh, he's, he's just a back retard. Up on the apron, finally. What time? Papa doesn't go for the tombstone here. Oh, right on his. That's gonna be it for Ralph. He ain't coming back from that. World's greatest dad's team, right there. Right there. Here comes the cover. One. Two, three. Hagar. Three. Cut, count, all right. Hagar cut count the money off expertly there. That was good tag team wrestling. That was, and it was bad on top on Blood Money's part because Undead Miller. I don't know what his problem was, but he wouldn't get up there for Ralph to tag him. Well, let, let's let's examine Undead Miller and what his problems are. First problem is he's fucking dead. The second problem is he's fucking dead. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Well, shouldn't count the money have? Uh oh. Papa Wrestling's got another uh -oh. tombstone ready, it looks like. Yeah, here comes a... Here he comes. Here come the partners. He's tombstoning a dead man. Yes. Well, the vampire takes the tombstone. Man. One, Supposed vampire. two, three. And that's it for Count the Money. Now it's three on one. <laughs> They're beating on Dead Miller. They're beating on Dead Miller, too. He's throwing a mud hole in him. <laughs> now, Papa Wrestling's like, toss him in here. Now he's no, going he's out. No, he's going out. They're going to they're gonna ram him through the cage or something. Put his head through the guardrail. That's what I want to see. Miller's trying to fight back, but... He's dumb as dicks, so... Well, he's dead, like you said. All right, Hagar puts him back in the ring. Hagar looked like he was about to stalk to the backstage to find Count de Monet. Yeah, okay, we got a camel clutch here. I wouldn't be surprised if Undead Miller tapped just because he... His team is gone. He's fighting. He's, he's tough bastard. He's fighting. He's got, he, he, Almost there. He's got to, yes, he got to the ropes. Got to the rope. I thought I saw his hand touch the rope, and the ref didn't call for the break, so... The ref has got a brain problem, so... Yeah, the problem is he doesn't have one. Oh, it's there. <laughs> it don't work, but it's there. Papa Wrestling had a few knuckle prints to all the scars on Undead Miller's face. Papa Wrestling's on a mission. Yes, he is. He's two eliminations so far. He wants to make it three. He had a rough time in the match where they got Pearl Harbor a couple yeah, he weeks did. ago. Well, he's making them pay for it now. World's Greatest Dads team is up 3-1 right now. 
Undead Miller's got a long road ahead of him Ooh. if he's going to pull this out. Undead Miller, actually the most competent member of their team. Yeah, which is not surprising that he's the last one here. That's a one. No. Well, let's also be honest that he was half the match Ooh. wandering around like a, a, a reject from the Thriller video. That's true. That is very true. He did look like one of the extras from Thriller. Uh -oh, what do we got here? An abdominal stretch on. This seems to be a popular move to get submissions with these days. Yeah. Oh, he's tapping. That's it. Miller said he's had enough. Papa Wrestling with all three eliminations. Yes, yeah, world's greatest dad team with a sweep here. I got to say, I didn't expect that. They just totally beat the shit out of him. That yes, they did. Come up it's. Well, I mean, the, the Blood Money's tag team work was fucking piss poor, too. I mean... Undead Miller wandering around the ring like the, an extra from Thriller. and This is what happens when you employ the undead. Yes, I, well, I guess. There's the big tombstone of Count the Money that sent him to the back. If Count the Money is, wants to have partners, maybe he shouldn't have made zombies. Maybe he should have made vampires. Yeah, I don't know. I think they were a little bit harder for him to control, I imagine. And here's Miller tapping out to the abdominal stretch. I can't say I blame him. He's got no chance in this match with two partners. Even if he manages to get a pinfall, he's not going to be able to get to three. Somebody's going to break it up. I'd be amazed if he can make his way back to the backstage without a map. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Hagar, Papa Wrestling, and John Matrix victorious here in this six-man tag, guys. A sweep of blood money. That To me, that is surprising. I expected them to win. I did not expect the sweep. Yes, we need to get some cleaning crew out here to clean the shit stain off the mask where Zombie Ralph shit himself. Starting to stink up the place. All right, folks, as you know, we've been, uh, the last couple of weeks, we've had an issue between Lardass and Cowboy Matt. Cowboy Matt was ambushed in the back by Ned Ryerson and lost his briefcase. Lardass found the briefcase. And uh, now Cowboy Matt and Lardass have not exactly been friendly towards one another. Lardass tweeted, check it out. I found a briefcase. It's locked, but wow. Come get it, WTFers. Hashtag challenge. What a right after that... Cowboy Matt responded on Twitter with this. I'm your Huckleberry, which, for those of you who don't know, Cowboy Matt went on to explain what that means in a secondary tweet that he followed this one up with, where he says, that means I'm coming to get my case, fat boy. Hashtag put the fork down. Hashtag diabetes. <laughs> he just became my favorite man in the world. Okay, so I'm your Huckleberry is an old Western phrase that means I'm your man or I'm the guy for the job. So he's kind of channeling uh, Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday from Tombstone at this point. So Cowboy Matt uh, is on a m little bit of a mission here at WTF to get his briefcase back. I still can't believe he never opened it. I can't wait to see it. 